function. Let's start with Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Coach, I, I, you just got from off the field from the scrimmage today. I know you guys only have a couple of scholarship guys, but in general, thoughts on, on how your guys played? And I know Cross in particular had some nice moments of like. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, this, uh, <clears throat> those guys are playing well. You know, obviously, CJ, CJ, Travis is Travis, but Cross Patton is probably had the best camp of all these guys just because we've asked him to take a lot of reps. And uh, then we got Aaron Smith, who was a walk-on, who is actually a pleasant surprise for us um so far in camp so you know those guys played played well today and uh, we'll look at the tape and get better from it tyson alger the athletic just with his body how is cross able to take some of those hits like i saw him get rocked about two times today and he just springs right back up like it, it seems like he's he's shifty enough enough to avoid a lot of those but sometimes when he gets squared up yeah well what's the old box pound for pound he's probably the toughest guy on our team you know, but uh, he's at an unbelievable – we knew he had this in him. I mean, he showed it last year on the scout team. And, uh, you know, now with where we're at, he's got an opportunity to, uh, to get a ton of reps. And, man, I'll tell you, he's a, he's a good player and a tough kid, smart kid, and not afraid to throw his body in there. So it's, it's been good. Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. Jim, when you have guys like – CJ and Travis that have been around so long and played so many snaps at Oregon. And now with the limited amount of bodies, they're going to get a lot of reps this spring. What do you want them to work on at this point in their career? Oh, they just got to elevate their game. You know, it's a typical deal. The next year, you got to be a year better. Um, and that's what those guys have done. You know, I mean, obviously CJ, the freak injury he had last year, but uh, you know, Travis had an unbelievable year last year. He's just got to, he's just got to, uh, you know, he's got to capitalize on that and have a better year this year. It's just the whole thing. It's a year better. Just be it. People should look and say, man, he's a year better. And that's what we're looking for out of both those guys. And, uh, and then cross has been, like I said, a pleasant surprise for us. Go to James Crepia, Oregonian. Jim, CJ goes 67 to the house on that first play there today. Obviously you've seen that before. So how difficult for you as the position coach was last year when he's missing his first games and you know that that what you saw today, what you saw for two years prior is what he's capable of. And that's what your we were missing down the stretch. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's like I said before, a thousand times. I believe C.J. Vardell is the best back in the country. You just got to keep him healthy. Last year, that was the freakest injury you could ever imagine. You know, rip a ligament in your thumb, putting your hand on the ground. I mean, just, you know, but Travis stepped up and had an unbelievable year. And so uh, CJ is as dynamic as they come and he's a complete package. And if he stays healthy, which he will, uh, the sky's the limit for him and Travis and right now cross. So it's been, it's been good. James, did you have a follow-up or a second question? Yeah. Just on that point, Jim, of it's obviously the issue that's been looming around CJ for years and it's always the durability issue. And it was, he was the iron man who played through everything in 18 and in 19. And then last year at, it caught up to right. him. Right. If you had the answer, it wouldn't happen. But <laughs> what you've tried everything. You've tried basically bubble wrap in the spring with him. I get it. But how do you try to get him through what yeah. you hope is a 15 game season? Yeah. You know, you're not going to take away what he, what, what his personality is. He's just a tough, hard nosed, tough football player. And you can't take that away. The, the thing is you have to make sure you have depth, which we do. And it's, it's fortunate, but, you know, he's just, he is what he is. That's why he's such a great player. You know, you kind of limit his reps in fall camp and in spring ball just to kind of take the punches away a little bit, kind of the wear and tear on the tires, which is what we've done. But, uh, you know, once game time comes, you can't ask him to do anything that he's doing. And he's just, uh, just the way he plays the game. And I love him for that. And that's just what makes him so good. Let's go to Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. With Cyrus gone, are you looking for a short yardage goal line specific back, or is that just going to be it, it kind of plays out the way it plays out? Like you go into spring and fall kind of hoping to have someone kind of su substitute what he he did the last couple of years. Yeah, you know, CJ can be that guy. Travis can be that guy. I mean, you know, it's just that's just something that just kind of come within the flow of the game, you know, and with what we have coming in, kids we have coming in, um, you know, that'll be uh, – That'll be a good, a good competition for us to have, but there's no, no different. You just kind of, who's the hot hand is going to play. You get down there. You're just going to go. Let's go to AJ Jacobson rivals. 
Yeah, coach. Um, I saw Cross Patton standing there for a really nice block today. But overall, your whole unit, how is your unit doing blocking this spring? Good. You know, last year they were much improved from the first year. And so far uh, today was a great day. I mean, for those guys, they step up in there and, you know, there's there are running backs always going to be at a disadvantage weight wise. You're trying to block Noah Sewell's 260 crosses of 160 pounds today. And so you have to understand it's all about fundamentals, it's all about techniques. It's all about a want to. And uh, today was a good day and they've had a good spring, but it's something you work on every single day. And so uh, it's just something they've gotten better at and they're going to continue to get better at. Warren Williamson, Duck Football News. Jim, kind of focusing on what AJ just asked. Uh, you're, you're mute. I can't hear you. Hit the unmute. And get, there we go. Get Got it. There. there we go. Hey, Jim, um, following up on what AJ just asked, you guys are eight spring practices in, something you guys didn't get a chance to do last year. Um, kind of give your overall um, thought about how this, this unit is shaping up. Not really what they're going to do in the future, but but kind of where they are right now. Yeah, it's the best chemistry, both in my room and on this team since I've been here. It's 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 really good. I mean, it's uh, we me and Coach Cristobal were talking yesterday. It's just a different feeling and a different vibe in the locker room and on the practice field. It's something that uh, that's I think is very special. But the chemistry, again, in my room and in this with this team, is, is the best it's been in my my three years here. Let's go, Eric Scopel, two four seven Sports. How, how valuable or invaluable are spring practices to guys like Sean and, and Trey? And, and how much does that, I don't want to say hurt their progression or, or slow them down, but is, is, are they missing out on a lot and, and opportunity this spring to, to not be available? Absolutely. I mean, it's all about reps. It's all about, you know, how many snaps can you get, you know? And, uh, you know, with Sean, it was just heart gut wrenching to me that that, that that happened. I mean, just, he was, this was his time to shine. You know, he paid the price. He understood that it was a process involved. He embraced the process, but he'll be back stronger than ever. You know, Sean will be back and he'll be as good as ever. And then Trey should be back very soon, full speed. So we'll have a room, a complete room. But yeah, it hurts when you can't get reps. But the hard as those two guys work, I mean, they'll catch up in no time. Jerry Thompson, Ducks Illustrated. Yeah, coach, even the best back in the world, though, isn't going to go very far without good blocking. So what have you noticed? The offensive line, have you seen an, uh, an improvement yourself? No, absolutely. I mean, we go how they go. And, uh, you know, they're coached by the best old line coach in the country, Coach Mirabal. So that's never going to be an issue. And those guys have gotten a year better. And it's, it's, it's a remarkable improvement just because they're a year better. It's the same group the next year. And so, uh, you know, those guys are playing really well right now. It's, uh, it's been fun to watch those guys develop. And like I said, you know, that first place, CJ went 67. All you had to do was make the safety miss. Everybody else was blocked, you know, so, and that's what you're looking for. Tyson Alger. When, when you have that sort of chemistry that you were talking about with a maturing group, just how fun is this for you to coach? I mean, like I was, I was watching you during warmups with the PVC pipe with the, uh, uh, the boxing. Club on. It just looks like you're, you're enjoying your time out there. Just, just how, how is that for you right now? Well, I love what I do. I mean, I love what I do and I'm doing it at the best institution in the world. I mean, it's a dream. I, every day I turn the corner coming to work and see that. Oh, and I get chills still. I mean, that I'm actually at Oregon. And so I love what I do. And I actually love this group that I'm coaching right now. It's, it's a, these guys are a lot of fun and uh, it's just, uh, it's been a blast. And I've had probably the funnest spring I've had in my 31 years right now, just because these kids are so much fun to have and be around and, uh, and watch them develop. And they, they're never satisfied which is so good to see, you know, they always want to get better. And so this entire team, it's been fun. It's been a really fun spring so far. Good time for a couple more. Let's go to James Crepia. Jim, just there's probably about like 50 different caveats that could come into last year in terms of statistically from short season, all new all line, COVID, health, every which other thing. So when there is a statistical step back, it's a collective. It's not on any one person, one unit. But uh, I know you guys examine this. So in your capacity, how do you view it? How do you assess it? And not just for the spring, but how do you try to go about improving something in the offseason? Where, like I say, you could probably come up with it's not excuses. It's just caveats to, yeah. well, CJ's arm got hurt. And then, yeah. you know, these guys yeah. went down and, you know, these issues. No, absolutely. No, absolutely. It's just it's part of a process. I mean, you just you move on to the next. You can't worry about the last one. You know, you play the next play. You play the next game. You play the next season. You know, I mean, uh, it's just, it's just it, one of those things that happens. Like CJ went down, Travis, you better step up. 
you know, and that, and that was, that was the deal. And, and he did, but you cannot look back. You just got to look forward and play the next play, play the next game, play the next season. Let's go. You know, whatever last season was, it was, it was, it's over. And now we're on to the next one. And uh, trust me, these guys know where they want to be. They're never satisfied. And they understand what they're trying to get to. And until they get to, they're not going to be satisfied. And uh, CJ is the leader of that group. Travis is the leader of that group. And uh, those other guys just kind of fall in line, understand their place. And, uh, but Travis and CJ run that room. Last question for Coach Master. We'll go to Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. Jim, obviously, <clears throat> Coach Moorhead only seven games in so far, but uh, Travis was one of the more explosive players on the team in the passing game. Where do you see that evolution with your guys in that aspect of the game? Oh, you know, yeah, it's, it's kind of like the next level, you know. That's where, that's where the shortened season hurt us last year a little bit. Couldn't put the whole offense in. But now that we're having a full spring, a full fall camp, you know, you're going to see those guys catch a lot of balls. And uh, they're going to do a lot with them out of the backfield. So and not only Travis, but CJ and Cross and all those guys that, are, that we have on our roster are going to be uh, big in the passing game. And it's just kind of the process of the, of the offense and having a full spring and a full fall camp. Coach Master, thanks for your time today. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys.